Denmark, a small Scandinavian nation, has become a global leader in waste management. Their system is efficient and a model for the world. Waste is seen as a resource. The Danish approach involves everyone. Policies encourage recycling and reduce waste. The result is a system that turns trash into treasure. Denmark aims to be carbon neutral by 2050. They recycle or incinerate 90% of their waste. Denmark's recycling system is a marvel of efficiency and innovation. It begins in homes across the country where citizens sort their waste into several categories, paper, plastic, metal, glass and organic waste. This initial sorting is crucial, making the recycling process more efficient and effective. The country has invested heavily in recycling infrastructure, with numerous recycling centers throughout Denmark. These facilities use advanced technology to sort and process recyclables, ensuring materials are recycled properly and reducing contamination. It's not just household waste that's recycled. Construction waste, electronic waste and even hazardous materials have dedicated recycling streams. The Danish government has implemented policies to encourage recycling, including financial incentives for businesses and deposit schemes for consumers. These policies have helped create a culture of recycling in Denmark where it's seen as a civic duty. Denmark's comprehensive approach ensures that as little waste as possible ends up in landfills. This system is a testament to the country's commitment to sustainability. Denmark's recycling revolution is a model for the world. Trash segregation is at the heart of Denmark's waste management system. From a young age, Danes are taught how to sort their waste. This results in a population that understands its importance. Different types of waste go into different colored bins. This reduces landfill waste and makes recycling more efficient. Denmark's national effort in waste segregation is a key component of its success. Kophill is a shining example of Denmark's innovative approach to waste management. It's a waste-to-energy plant located in Copenhagen, but it's not just any power plant. Kophill is also a ski slope and recreational area, turning waste into energy while providing a space for leisure activities. The plant burns waste to produce electricity and heat, powering 30,000 homes and heating 72,000 homes. The plant uses advanced technology to minimize emissions, resulting in clean energy from waste that would otherwise end up in landfills. The plant's roof is an artificial ski slope, open year-round, providing a unique recreational space for Copenhagen residents. There's also a hiking trail and a climbing wall, integrating waste management facilities into urban spaces. Kopil is more than just a waste-to-energy plant, it's a symbol of Denmark's approach to sustainability. It shows how waste can be turned into a resource and demonstrates that environmental solutions can also enhance urban living. Kopil is a model for other cities looking to innovate in waste management. Denmark's Green Cities initiative extends beyond waste management. It aims to make cities more environmentally friendly. Key aspects include reducing carbon emissions and improving energy efficiency. Copenhagen aims to be carbon neutral by 2025. Sustainable transportation is a focus with excellent cycling infrastructure. Green spaces provide habitats for wildlife and improve air quality. The initiative is a holistic approach to urban sustainability. It's a blueprint for sustainable urban living. Clean cities are a hallmark of Denmark's approach to urban living. Danish cities are known for their cleanliness, the result of a comprehensive approach to urban management. This approach combines effective waste management with civic pride. Efficient waste collection is key, with regular schedules for waste pickup, including both household waste and recyclables. Many cities also have underground waste systems using vacuum technology to transport waste, reducing the need for garbage trucks on the streets. Public education plays a crucial role, with Danes taught from a young age not to litter, and public campaigns reminding people of the importance of cleanliness. The design of public spaces also contributes, with plenty of public trash bins often designed to be attractive and easy to use. Some bins even have separate compartments for different types of waste, making it easy for people to dispose of waste properly. This comprehensive approach keeps Danish cities clean and livable. It's a model that other cities can follow. The Danish way is a testament to the power of effective urban management. 
Denmark's waste management system involves innovative methods of waste collection, making the process more efficient and less disruptive. One such innovation is the use of underground waste containers installed beneath the street with only a small inlet visible above ground. When it's time for collection, a truck lifts the container out of the ground, saving space on the street and reducing odors. Another method is the use of vacuum systems with underground pipes transporting waste to a central collection point, eliminating the need for garbage trucks on residential streets. This makes waste collection more hygienic and less noisy. Denmark is also exploring the use of smart technology in waste collection, with some cities testing sensors in waste bins to detect when bins are full. This allows for more efficient collection routes and prevents overflowing bins. These innovative methods help keep cities clean and reduce the environmental impact of waste collection. Denmark's approach to waste collection is a model of efficiency and innovation. It's a testament to the country's commitment to sustainability. These methods are setting new standards in waste management. Public education is crucial to Denmark's waste management success. Comprehensive programs educate citizens from school to adulthood. Kids learn waste sorting and its environmental impact early on. Adults are reached through media campaigns, including TV ads and social media. Community events like cleanup days raise awareness. Public education is key to Denmark's success. Denmark's waste management system isn't just good for the environment. It also brings significant economic benefits. The country has turned waste management into a thriving industry, creating jobs and contributing to the national economy. One of the main economic benefits comes from waste to energy plants, which generate electricity and heat from waste incineration, reducing Denmark's dependence on fossil fuels. The energy produced is sold, creating revenue for municipalities. The recycling industry is another economic powerhouse, creating jobs in collection, sorting and processing of recyclable materials. Many of these jobs are local and can't be outsourced, producing valuable raw materials that can be sold to manufacturers. Denmark has also developed expertise in waste management technology, with Danish companies exporting this technology around the world. This creates high-skilled jobs and brings in foreign revenue, positioning Denmark as a global leader in sustainable technology. Denmark's waste management system is a prime example of how environmental sustainability can also be economically beneficial. It's a model that other countries can learn from. Denmark's waste management system offers valuable lessons for the rest of the world. Many countries are now looking to Denmark as a model, seeking to replicate its success in their own waste management strategies. One crucial lesson is the importance of a comprehensive approach, addressing all aspects of waste management, including collection, sorting, recycling, and energy recovery. It also involves education, incentives, and regulations. Another important lesson is the value of public engagement, with Denmark's system working because its citizens actively participate. This level of engagement didn't happen overnight, it's the result of years of education and awareness campaigns. The Danish system also demonstrates the potential of waste to energy technology, showing that there are more efficient and environmentally friendly alternatives to landfill. While the specifics may vary, the principle of treating waste as a resource rather than a problem is universally applicable. Denmark's system is a model of sustainability and efficiency. It's a blueprint for other countries looking to improve their waste management. The global lessons from Denmark's system are invaluable. As impressive as Denmark's current waste management system is, the country isn't resting on its laurels. It continues to innovate and set ambitious goals for the future with a vision of continuous improvement and increasing sustainability. One key aspect of Denmark's future vision is the circular economy, aiming to eliminate waste entirely by keeping resources in use for as long as possible. This includes designing products for easy repair and recycling. Another focus is further reducing the small amount of waste that still goes to landfills, finding solutions for hard-to-recycle materials. This might involve developing new recycling technologies or working with manufacturers to redesign products. Denmark is also looking at ways to export its waste management expertise, seeing this as both an economic opportunity and a way to contribute to global sustainability. Danish companies and experts are working with other countries to implement effective waste management systems. 
This not only benefits Denmark economically, but also helps to address the global waste crisis. Denmark's vision for the future of waste management is a testament to its commitment to sustainability.